Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some teacups and saucers that a lady at church was kind enough to give me. She's moving and she knew that I love teacups. Um, we had talked about tea parties and stuff before and she wanted to give them to me and I am just overwhelmed that somebody would give me this many beautiful teacups so i can't wait to show you this is just so, okay just real quick they have not been cleaned i haven't cleaned them yet and she had them in storage so they're a little bit dirty how unbelievably gorgeous look at this this is just so beautiful i love this ribbing it's just such a gorgeous detail i love the inside it's just such a pretty yellow flower I'm not even sure what kind of flower it is. It looks like a um, cushion flower or something. It's just beautiful. Absolutely love this teacup. This one is just so, okay. I have a few pieces with these beautiful little purple violets on them. I love this so much. It's one of my favorites, but I've never seen a saucer like this. It's got a a little foot on it and it's got a rim around it to probably catch whatever spills and the cup itself is just so light like it's the whole thing I don't know if you can you see my finger through it it's so thin and light but how beautiful is that she did say that some of these were her grandmothers some were hers her mom's and her grandmother's so I am just so unbelievably thankful that she thought of me to give these to. Um, this is a Rosina. Um, I've actually heard this name quite a bit. I don't know if it's like what exactly it means, but this is beautiful poinsettias. I love, I don't actually have anything for Christmas, so I'm thrilled with this um, because I like to be able to use these type of things at Christmas time, you know, and have them sitting out. I'm gonna move some of the stuff so I can begin stacking. This one is, this one is full. I love the outside that it's just a very simple, I love, I love teacups that are simple on the outside and then have a design on the inside. This is fall, and this is a Royal Albert. Um, it's just unbelievably beautiful. The detailing is, is just stunning. I love this one. Um, I don't have anything for fall, so thrilled, thrilled beyond measure. This one is also a Royal Albert, and you can actually, some of them you can really tell by just looking at them. Um, but look at the detail on that. Those leaves, I love the color. I love this handle. The side has the Canadian flag on it. It's so beautiful. It's probably upside down. No, <laughs> and it's Canada by Royal Albert. I love this one. It doesn't have the saucer though, but it's so beautiful. I love this one too. You're probably gonna hear me say that a lot. I love this one. Look at the colors, so gorgeous. I love pink and green together. This would actually match my china cabinet right now. If you've seen that video, I've got pink and green on there and it's kind of a mint green. How pretty is that? So this is the Tuscan, Tuscan bone china. It's very pretty. It's simple on the inside. It's got all of the detail on the outside. I love the colors. Absolutely love it. So look at this one. This is just stunning. I love that it's so simple on the outside. All of the design is on the inside. I don't know if you guys can tell the color. It's like a mint green with gold. It's it's just unbelievably stunning. It's Paragon. It's by Paragon. So I love just the 
the gold trim on it. So gorgeous. I That's probably one of my favorites. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be this one. I love anything shabby chic, and this looks very shabby chic to me. I love the handle. That is just so delicate and gorgeous. I love cabbage roses. Look at the inside. See, that's what gets me. I like the, I like it when the, when the cups have such gorgeous detailing on the inside. The little saucer is just as gorgeous. I love it. So this is uh, Hammersley, as best I can read. I'm waiting on new lenses for my glasses, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, this one, I absolutely love this one too. Um, if you know me, you know that I love a simple design on the outside and the pretty delicate design flowers or whatever it is on the outside or the inside. So this is a cold dough, cold dough. Yeah. And the plate, so, so beautiful. I love this one. I actually have uh, like a dinner plate size, salad plate size, and the teacup and saucer that match this exactly. So now I have another teacup. This one is a Copeland, Copeland's from England, and it's very, very similar. Look at that. It's like a, it's got like a very nude pink foot on it. And then the inside is that same design, that same flower. And it's like a periwinkle, lavender blue. Um, it doesn't look like it here, but if you look at it next to the, to the lighter one, you can really see it. This one is a very spring looking to me. Very, very pretty, simple on the inside. Um, the plate is very simple. This is another Coldo, Coldo from London, England. I like the weight of this one. This one feels really nice to hold. These two, there's two that are just so tiny. This is just so much smaller to me than a normal teacup. Um, this is a, I can't even pronounce that, Keg, Kegco. Um, but it's just a beautiful yellow. I love the feet. It's got the, the flower on the inside. Very spring looking again. This one is very similar. Just a very small, tiny little cup. Um, it's got a small little flower on the inside. I love cabbage roses, as you know. So this is a Sagey, Sagey. Uh, fancy, fancy china. It's very pretty. Here's another of the same cup. So it's a matching and it's a little bit different plate. This one actually doesn't go with it. It's, this is a Royal Stafford, but it kind of goes to me. So I'm going to put it on there. Okay. How pretty is this very pale lavender? It's got beautiful flowers on the inside and the plate is just as beautiful. This is a, it's Chippendale, that's what it is. So this is a Chippendale. Absolutely stunning. Look at this one. How spring is that? So, so pretty. So this is a Royal Stafford as well. I love the feel of this one. It's got that, a little bit heavier weight to it. This one is gorgeous for the fall. I love it. It's simple on the inside. This one is a Royal Albert. And I've actually never seen this, this pattern before, um, but that really doesn't mean anything because I'm not 
any sort of expert on this stuff at all. I just know what I like to collect. I know what I think is pretty. So this one, I actually have something very, very similar. It's the same pattern, same colors, just the cup looks different. And I love this. It's a very iridescent. There's nothing on the bottom at all. And I know one of you had said what that means, but I don't remember. So if you know what that means, leave it in the comments. And to refresh my memory, this one is a Christmas. I don't have any Christmas cups. So this is just so beautiful. And this is the Rosina pad, uh, Rosina brand, I guess, from London. And look at this. This one is just so striking. It's just got such personality to it. This is a Gladstone. Gladstone from England. Look at this one. This is also perfect for the fall. To me, I think it is. It's so gorgeous. Look at those colors. Hopefully you can see them well enough out here. Bell China. Bell from England. I'm starting to run out of room here. This one is so beautiful to me as well. I love how it's simple on the outside and all of the pattern is on the inside. It's got like beautiful fruit. So pretty. And this is a Venus Salisbury from England. This one looks like summer to me. It's a very, very simple, but it's got just gorgeous sunflowers. It's simple on the inside with just a little sunflower and the matching saucer. This is from, I can't pronounce that. Tell me how to say that. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> So this one is a very traditional, I can't even tell. It has nothing on the cup and then it has this. And I don't know which way to turn it, but how unbelievably gorgeous is that? The detailing is just amazing. It's got beautiful, birds on the inside. It's so beautiful. And this one looks like summer to me too. I think it's probably just the colors. It's just very bright. It's got a little flower on the inside and the plate is just, it's just a very bright. This is also a Royal Albert and it's just so gorgeous. And lastly, there are some small, very tiny ones in the house that she gave me too. But I'm just showing you the standard size ones. This one, this one looks like fall to me as well. And I'm not sure, I think I'm just going by the colors. How gorgeous is that? Isn't that beautiful? And this is hand painted in occupied China, that's all occupied Japan so but the colors are just just so in this detailing along the top it's just striking I love them every single one of these are amazing oh these three do not have a saucer with them but I wanted to show you how cute is that? Love the little leaf on the inside. And this is a Royal Standard. I love the weight of this. And this is a Royal Albert. I can tell just by looking at it. Um, I always love the details on this type. Um, yeah, it doesn't say, usually it has like some sort of description of what flower it is or something, but it doesn't. Um, but what do I know? <laughs> I 
How pretty is this one? I love the handle. It's very unique. The little foot is so darling and it's got that iridescent color on the inside. So, so beautiful. I really, I don't know which one would be my favorite. I absolutely love them all. Let me know which one you like the best and if you know anything about any of them, leave it in the comments below to educate me. <laughs> but I was just blown away by how many beautiful teacups that she gave me. Um, and it's how unbelievably thoughtful that was. So yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys so you could see. Um, so many of you enjoyed my teacup collection video, so that's why I wanted to show you these. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now.